Well, we just saw Unfinished Business, and on this show I take my friends, we go see a movie, we review it in the car, and then we have a discussion. The review part is spoiler free, so if you're on the fence or looking for a recommendation, this is the video to watch. If you'd like to see more or don't care about spoilers and that sort of thing, watch the discussion video, we'll get into more details and things like that. Unfinished Business is a comedy starring Vince Vaughn, Tom Wilkinson, Dave Franco, and it's uh, about a group of businessmen who are trying to close this deal. They end up running all over the world to try and chase down what they thought was a done deal, but it, they find out that they're actually competing with um, their old boss, who is essentially uh, beating them at every turn, and they're trying to find their way through it. Um, my review of the movie, I was very pleasantly surprised. Uh, I expected a raunchy Vince Vaughn R-rated comedy, and it's about 50% raunchy R-rated Vince Vaughn comedy and about 50% John Hughes. Um, it has a heart to it, which helps really ground the comedy. Uh, it has that sort of planes, trains, and automobiles sort of feel to it where there's the comedy moments are funnier because the real moments, the part where you care about the characters is very well established. There is a bullying subplot that runs through the movie. That's kind of interesting. Uh, I didn't expect it. And I expect, I actually expected it to go in a direction where they were going to make a bunch of jokes about bullying, but that's not where it goes at all. Um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, so yeah, what to say without spoiling it? As far as reviews go, if you if you love Vince Vaughn movies, definitely check it out. Um, if you're interested in in comedies and that kind of stuff, if you're on the fence because you're not a fan of Vince Vaughn, I would say it's still probably worth thinking about uh, considering because he's not my favorite either. But I like him more after seeing this. It's just a really well done script. It's not him improvising or him just going, you know, doing the Vince Vaughn deadpan spiel in every scene. He's got a few of those moments, but it's not the whole movie. And, uh, it's really well done. I, I really enjoyed it. So yeah, if, if you're in the mood for an R-rated comedy and you were, you know, you, you saw the preview and you're like, Oh, another one of these, another, you know, Vince Vaughn comedy. It's not, it's a bit different than, than what you might expect. So I would, I would recommend it. What'd you guys think? Yeah, I really liked it. I, get, uh, piggybacking off of what you just said, the trailer really does this movie a disservice. Uh, the trailer makes it look like it is a straight up raunchy comedy, you know, the straight to DVD American pie types. Yep. But, this is so much better than that. And, you know, not only does it have a good cast, and I'm not a big Vince Vaughn fan, and in fact, I don't really like him, mm -hmm. uh, but I would definitely suggest going and seeing this movie because it is good. It has, uh, it has nice subplots to it, and uh, you will be very pleasantly surprised, I think. Mm. I, I uh, there's definitely a few moments that justify the R rating, of course. Um, but if they had tweaked those a little bit, I feel like it it could have been a slightly different like uh, PG thirteen comedy because there is a lot of uh, like non raunchy kind of like almost family values driven uh, part of the story that they could have fleshed out more, and I, I probably would have been even like a bigger movie. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of funny because it, it, for me it, it treads a line between kind of a soft comedy and also you got the kind of raunchy stuff, which was uh, kind of interesting. Um, anywho, I thought the, the team, the, it's, uh, Tom Wickelson, Dave Franco, and Vince Vaughn, those three together were pretty good, mm -hmm. um, and they, they take up most of the screen time, so that's a good thing. Um, yeah, anywho, enjoyable comedy, uh, no real complaints. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yes, I mean, we're recommending it, I mean, just to, to add one more thing, too, uh, as far as making it a PG-13 movie, honestly... The raunchy stuff in the movie is nudity. That's really it. Like it's not it's not overly crazy with the language. So 
it's it's a movie that if they cut a few scenes or you know re-edited a few things here and there, it could it could survive with the PG thirteen rating. I think to what you were saying before, like the trailers make it out to be a raunchy R rated comedy, and it is, and that's the reason why it's it's it, interesting that they went the. Let's just, just have a few as much short little moments, though, isn't it? Really, it's pretty pervasive. It mm-hmm. kind of reminds me of The Ringer with Johnny Knoxville, like mm-hmm. you know, a comedy you think is going to go one way, and then it completely goes another. Yeah, and actually, you you in it ends up being some kind of like a a, a stance against against something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and that's it, it was very very good I, I really it enjoyed was. it I would I would watch it again so let's not spoil anything here if you want to go see the movie please go do that if you've already seen it don't care about spoilers go ahead and watch our discussion uh, part but for now if you like the video please like us subscribe check out all the written and video reviews at dalemaxfields.com and we'll see you again soon